Welcome to the BFME1 online battle arena on the patch 2.22, this time in a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the map Mering Stream. And we will get to play with the Isengard faction. Okay. So Loki, that's a difficult matchup for us on a map like Mering Stream, which is quite small. But maybe we can make this work. The furnace Uruk pit opening, very important. Good thing is we have a lumber mill. Uh, right next to the castle, which we need to protect no matter what. Come on. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Not a good start, I'm telling you that much. More Uruks. So here is the thing about this matchup, boys, okay? And usually Uruks are way stronger than peasants in a one-on-one -on -one situation. But, you know, realistically speaking, there should never be a one-on-one -on -one situation. More Uruks. Where is he actually? Where are you peasants? Don't hide. Okay, let's bring the fight to them. Oh, the Hobbit. I see the Hobbit. Okay. So I don't like to capture the one in the fr in the middle, which I cannot really protect. So I, I like to capture the ones in the sides. Which I hope I can protect a bit easier, you know? Can fight this with the war chant, no problemo. Let's turn. And boom. Like I said, you know, the best thing that can happen to us is if he chooses to fight us in a one-on-one -on -one situation over and over again, you know? Because our goal here in this matchup against, you know, Grohan or against Mordor or even Gondor is to get to two power point spike. As soon as possible and that's industry you know very important to get there and the more peasants you can kill at the beginning of the game oh that's not good man hey bro that's not cool um <laughs> you know that's so bad that i lose this lumber mill there you know To be honest, I wasn't expecting him to, you know, get more peasants up on the field. That's my bad. And, you know, that's not good, man. Come on, now. Uh, I'm so greedy, you know. I am so greedy. I should have scouted with my worker there to see him coming. I didn't do this. Yeah, scouting is very important, by the way, in every matchup. And with evil, it's quite easy to do that, too, with the workers. But I didn't. I should have. Okay, Uruk pit level 2. I want to capture this one first, and then we need a Berserker. I don't want to follow him, actually. Stop following. We can recruit a Berserker, dealing with this peasant. Okay, so our eco is not looking too hot. With only one furnace. And one lumber mill. We had one lumber mill for a long time. Go! Oh man, but actually it's kind of good for me. Loki, it's good for me. I'm kind of glad that this Rohirrim didn't come to my uh, settlements now. I mean, him killing the Uruks, it's whatever, I think. It's better for me this way than him getting to the middle, destroying my lumber mills. Which he should, by the way. When you play good against evil, the first horse, Knight or Rohirrim, should always, always go de to destroy the enemy settlements. Always. Okay, now we need to creep, boys. We need to creep with Warchan. We will creep this layer. Pikeman can kill the Warks, and then the rest can kill the layer. Okay? Okay, beautiful. So, we need to uh, re keep recruiting more Pikeman. And it's very important for Aizen to always scout the enemy action, so we don't want to give him the creeps for free. 
always try to contest, at least get the money, you know? More pikemen required. So now with this eco what we have, we should be able to fill up the base very fast. We have three lumber mills and an industry buffed furnace. So our money should go up very, very soon. Um. Oh, he creeped this. Okay. Um. Hmm. What I like to do is a berserker. There's like a pikeman combination, so we can fight for the map control, you know? Like Rohan is a faction you can't really fight for map control with only pikeman because he can always recruit peasants from the farms and that's why you always want to have a berserker with your pikeman, you know? So the pike can counter the horses and berserker can counter the peasants, so you need to always counter your enemy's move. So we took two creeps, that's not bad. I mean, the good thing for us is that there are not many creeps on this map mating stream, you know? So there are only four creeps in total, and we took two of them. That's okay. You see? Now we have Lourdes also, for killing peasants, that's good. Lourdes is an amazing investment into the lead game. You always want to have Lourdes in any matchup. When it comes to the 15-20 minute mark, you know. So we are doing good so far, I guess. I could go for the Borgs, but I don't want to, you know. We can, I think we can do this with the pikeman uh, berserker combination. It just me, it just requires a bit more micro. When you have works, you don't need to micro. You just send them forward and trample down the peasants. But when you play with the berserker pikeman combination, you always want to make sure that your pikemen are far away from the peasants. You know. Okay, so good map control, amazing situation. We can also buy the outpost actually, which I believe is gonna take him a long time to destroy. <laughs> Look how many workers! Oh my god. Okay, we have in total, you know, four mills. Towering up. Just why not, you know, it's so cheap, but it makes you feel safe. Because I'm assuming he's gonna go for a, for a beast rush very soon. I'm, I feel it. Yeah, you see? I know it, you know? My spider sense was tickling me, boys. You will have shields very soon on this Rohirrim. Yeah, he's coming. But he has no bleed, so I think his damage is not going to be the greatest. And we are prepared for this, you know? And the thing is, we have also the whole map, <laughs> you know, even if this kind of war is, which I believe it won't, but we need to demolish in time, and we have the whole map. Like, at this point, you don't even care about him destroying half your base, you know? You are controlling the map, which is more important. Just make sure that you are demolishing stuff in time to deny power points, that's very important. Otherwise, you will get to summon elves. So now we go for the armory. These peasants are annoying. But they are also feeding my lords over and over again, you know? That's pretty good. I like it. Give me more experience. Beautiful. Level 3 means you have lots of self-defense with Lourdes. You know, you have Carnage, which can be used um, in a defensive situation. So when you are being chased by the Rohirrim, you just throw the sword, use Carnage. 
and you should be good to go. Bam, 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 look, I like the money, dude. Like, you see, when eyes on his map control, bro, it's over for you, you know? Oh, okay. Oops. Sorry, guys, I was hitting my microphone. Okay, so that's gonna be triggering a little bit. We need to make sure that we are not feeding too many power points here to the elves. Always pick off, respect the elven summon, very important. And give up some settlements if you need to. And always pay attention to your pikemen. Okay, big back off, back off, back off. Lords should be able to do this, no problem. I'm gonna go for them for the siege actually. I don't wanna I don't want this game to last too long. Good factions wanna always direct the game, direct the game for the ultimate lead game, which is gonna be making it a bit harder for you in long terms. So we don't need to do this. We can actually kinda break the um fight to them, you know? And I think we did a good job by dodging the elves. Like, they killed only one pikeman and destroyed one outpost. It's okay. I'm not super mad about this, you know. Oh, here's no more Alvin summon. Annoying. Stop doing it, bro. Oh, demolish. Demolish. Porcupine. I will not let this horse live. Watch this, watch this. Lords, the finisher. Can you finish him, Lords? If he finishes him, you need to sub. Okay? No! Please! Yes! <laughs> lords! Dude, the sniper, Lords. Oh my, what? Kinda crazy, dude. Okay, I killed the battalion, though. That's good, though. Okay, now we need to... Oops, be careful. We can actually... F yeah, we could fight this with the Forge Bleeds and Heavy Armor Water level 2. Um, pick the whole map, you know? Don't leave him anything, bro. Don't let him get any money. Don't be greedy, okay? In this game, greed is good, you know what I'm saying? So we need to hide the Ballista... Not Ballista, the Rams at the top left corner. Until we are ready to fight. So I'm gonna show you how can how you can fight this. So Warch, um, we could use Warchan too. Please fight, Lutz. Okay, we can now turn and fight. Always use Porcupine formation, huh? Lutz level four, it's dope. And hide this Ballista, um, the Ram. Sorry. Okay, all you need at this point of the game, because we know our opponent can't be rich. We took a lot from him, and I think he can't defend us when we go with like two combos. So all we need is like two um, pikeman crossbowman co pikeman crossbowman combination, and then we just give them upgrades. We have lords, the warchan, go, you know. Like even if it fails, right? Which shouldn't, but even if it fails. Then you still break some parts of the wall, which will cost him a lot, and it will always create this constant pressure on the castle. Be careful there. Let's go. Um. Okay, he destroyed one of the rams. It's okay. We have still two more. So far, so good, boys. We are doing a good job. Denying our opponent every possible resource. And kind of bringing the fight always to them. Which kind of gives them no chance or no... I don't want to easy, actually. Go back and move a bit. Okay. And even if we kiss some of the pikemen, we will have more and more coming. All the time. You need to always find a good mixture. You, you can add... Oh my god, is he not paying attention? My mouse is slow, actually. Go, go, go. One of them gonna go there, and the other three are gonna come with me. And we killed the horse, that's good. We need only one more level, oops. 
We need only one more level on the Lourdes 2 to get to level 5, you know? Get the whole map, look at the minimap always. The map is looking your color. That's great, you know? Mission accomplished. So now, let's assume this is not gonna work. But we will still be able to break his gate, break at least two parts of the wall, which will cost around about 5,000 to repair. And he can't afford to repair this, so he needs to always camp in the base for a potential invade of mine. So, you know, sieging Loki is always worth it. Always worth it. Breaking parts of the wall from your opponent who's playing good faction like Gondor or Rohan, always worth it. So we break the gate. Peasants without draft are chasing me. <laughs> okay. One part, two parts, and the gate. Boom. Okay. Now we just go in, boys. We have Warchan. We have no Lord's leadership, but it doesn't matter. We just want to go in. Okay, something else. That's not cool. But he has no leadership, man. You know, that's, he has no theory in nothing. Oh, you can't trample into this, bro. Oh my god. Ah, uh, we still broke the part of the wall behind too. Amazing. Oh, it's this combos. What can this combos do against such a reckless heat? A new power is rising, boys. I mean, I just wanted to recruit Saruman so he can see the defeat of Rohan in this game. I'm going to make some stuff happen now with Saruman. Juice. Okay. No Warchan, but we have Rain. Doesn't matter. You know, we just go him. And Lord's all about to hit level 5 too. Oh boy, Saruman is coming! Knock, 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 knock! I mean, wait, you can't even open the gate because you have no gate. Joke's on you. Joke's on you! Reen. Watch this play, boys. Watch this play. You will think I will steal him, but I won't. Joke's on you! Watch this, watch this, watch this. Let us go now. You can't. Gaboom, son! Fireball, watch this, and steal, uh, all the triple abilities boys, okay, and I'm gonna war chant his combos too because I'm a nice guy, let me war chant his combos, come on, let's group up with me, nice, I war chanted your combos my friend, oh, you can hit a bit harder, okay, GG well play guys, I hope you enjoyed this, Rohan getting destroyed by Aizen, you know, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. See you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.